Hi guys! Now you probably already know this about me if you follow my blog, but one of my pet peeves in life is when people don't take Halloween seriously. I mean, I know it's great fun dressing up and going to parties and stuff, but that's not really what Halloween's about. Halloween is supposed to be more about the night when the membrane between the living and the dead is thinnest. So really you should be thinking things like nothing lasts forever, one day I will be dead, life is pointless, stuff like that. And sometimes I think that dressing up as a hot dog or Sonic the Hedgehog, well that's great, can sometimes distract you from that. So what I tend to like to do as a compromise is dress up as a ghoul, which sort of gives you scope to explore those darker feelings, but still be glamorous. And I know I probably take this stuff a bit seriously because of this channel, but as you subscribe to it, I thought you might be interested in joining me in taking it a bit more seriously and really understanding the values of Halloween. So to that end, I thought I'd run you through this quick cat eye makeup look and how I did it. So I just need to take the makeup off this eye and then I'll be back and run you through the makeup look. I kind of wish I'd filmed that bit first actually. So I've zoomed in for this bit so hopefully you can see a little bit better what I'm doing and I've taken the makeup off of this eye, I've put on concealer and filled in my brow a bit and just put a very matte brown eyeshadow just all over the lid. Um, you can use any matte brown eyeshadow for that. I would say avoid sparkly brown eyeshadow because I just can't picture ghouls wearing anything too glittery. I mean, maybe you disagree with me, but that's just how I feel. Um, sorry if this goes out of focus, by the way. My camera's not very good, as we know. It's not very good, and it goes in and out of focus. It should be focusing a bit. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. So now I've got the eyeshadow and my eyebrows done, I'm going to go in with a pencil eyeliner and just fill in the cat eye. Now some people have asked me, should I use gel eyeliner or a pencil eyeliner? And I'd say, realistically speaking, I think that a ghoul is more likely to wear gel eyeliner, but you can get more accuracy with a pencil, so I'm going to go in with a pencil. Now what I'm going to do first is actually go into the inner corner of my eye and just put the eyeliner around that. So Then when you're happy with that inner corner just drag along the top of the top lid till about three quarters of the way. You can make that quite a thick sort of messy line and then the easiest way to do this is just to make a dot sort of where you want the liner to end. So I sort of want it to be about here and so I just make a little dot and then join it up to the rest of the eyeliner and then sweep it back down to the corner to meet up with the rest of the eye. And then you've sort of got a little flick at the end. And it's as simple as that. And just check that it's the same as the other eye. And once you're happy, just lots and lots of mascara and I'd also recommend some false lashes as well, just to really set off that liner effect. What I would usually do if I was doing a lot of eye makeup 
is first I put on an eye primer and I'd maybe sort of set my makeup with a makeup fixer afterwards but actually on Halloween it's quite nice to not do that and then just as the evening goes on try to smudge it as much as possible because then by the end of the night you do look a little bit harassed, a little bit troubled, a little bit more ghoulish and so it's a nice sort of Halloween effect to just sort of smudge it all around your face. Now, if you follow me on Snapchat, you'll know that at the beginning of the week, I set up a little competition that was a mascara giveaway. So I've got two mascaras to give away. One is the Revlon Ultimate All-in-One Mascara, and one is the YSL Shocking Volume Mascara. Both very, very good, um, very, very different mascaras for different, very, very different looks. If you want to go for a full-on curl defined voluminous look then this is a very very good one um, for that but if you really want to really go overboard with a full-on smoky very curl defined and voluminous look then the wire sells your man so thank you so much if you took part in the competition um, if you didn't it was all about um, an article that I read a little while ago that fascinated me about spontaneous human combustion. If you don't know what spontaneous human combustion is, basically it's when people are set alight or spontaneously burst into flames and no one really knows what started the fire. Um, some people say it's um, divine intervention and um, some people say it has something to do with the fact that I think 90% of people who do spontaneously combust are found with their heads in a fireplace. I certainly haven't made up my mind yet about what I think about spontaneous human combustion, so I thought it would be great to just open the floor up to you guys and to hear any experiences, any thoughts you have about it and then as I had these extra mascaras going make it into a bit of a fun competition and give away the mascaras to the best response that I've had. So um, I'll just read out the results now. I must admit I didn't have a huge response from you guys with people telling me their own experiences of spontaneous human combustion which was a bit um, disappointing because I thought they were pretty good mascaras to give away but um, we had some really interesting thoughts on it through and the winner is da -da 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 -da, Carrie Ann from Norwich she emailed in and said that when she was at university her roommate spontaneously combusted and she doesn't like to talk about it well done Carrie Ann these mascaras will be winging their way to you. Thanks so much for watching guys. Whatever you do this Halloween, whether it's fun and happy or sad and reflective like it kind of should be, I hope you have a lovely time and I'll see you soon.